You're watching Eric Franke and Michelle Lee. Meteorologist Gary Canalti. And Jay Wilson with sports. This is News 3 at 6. All of a sudden, the wind came rushing in all of the windows, and the door blew open. Severe storms moved in overnight. I grabbed my dog and my family. Looked out the window and saw the trees basically bent over at right angles, and then heard the sound that sounded like a freight train coming through. Daylight revealing the damage done. Some homes level, and emergency management now bracing for round two. There will be more storms this week. And good evening. I'm News 3's Eric Franke. At least five people are hurt, hit by flying glass. That all happened in Platteville, but fortunately, no significant injuries following the latest fury from Mother Nature. The overnight storms hitting just before midnight, bringing tornadoes, straight line winds, and heavy rain. These are images from the sky over Verona. It is believed there were at least four tornadoes total, one hitting Verona, two in Platteville, and the fourth an EF1 in Blanchardville on the Iowa Lafayette County line. And also, damage surveys continue in other locations at this hour. Our team coverage tonight includes News 3's reporter Valina Jones. She is in Platteville tonight. Susan Simon and Jessica Arp are in Verona, which was very hard hit. Damage also done on Madison's east side, as well as the west side. And on the west side is where we find my co-anchor, News 3's Michelle Lee. Michelle?